I have a younger sister. As all normal kids would do, we used to fight a lot. But in our hearts, we loved each other. She had a dream of owning the Pomeranian, a breed of dog. For every birthday, New Year's and other holidays, my sister would piteously beg our parents to buy her that dog. However, our parents were not ready to spend $500 for a ball of fur, even if it was sweet as hell. Anyway, I promised her that I will buy the dog. Her happiness did not have limitations. However, I had to figure out how to get $500. At that time, my income was limited to little money, presents for holiday, pocket money, and spontaneous earnings like earnings from distributing flyers. It was winter outside, and freezing outside was not the best of the options. I already have had a negative experience in searching for jobs online, about which I will tell in one of the upcoming videos. This time, I stumbled upon an article about freelancing. The bottom line was that there were sites in which employers published tasks, all kind of, starting from creating an avatar for the Facebook group, up to developing AI for financial institutions. And users, who are freelancers, could accomplish tasks without leaving the house and earn money. I registered on a couple of websites on freelancing. Some even had screening tests to pass, which had questions like, which one is heavier, a kilogram of nails or a thousand grams of cotton wool? The hardest thing I came across was having a zero rating. Every freelancer has a rank. It depends on the number of tasks accomplished, feedback from the employers, time spent on the site, and some couple other factors. There is a saying that when a freelancer has a kid, he registers them on the freelancing platforms in order to pump the account in advance. On approximately 10th attempt, I got into transcribing. It was needed to type a two-hour conference from audio to text. Due to the lack of experience, it took me 10 hours to finish. However, I was very excited to receive my first $6 earned on the internet. After that, I rewrote articles for websites. I rewrote text about plastic windows, video cards, construction materials with my own words. I told about my articles in the school, and that year half of the class started to write essays on the topic similar to how to choose to plumb for summer homes. After a month, I had a pumped account with a lot of feedback. As in the past, I wrote all the income to a notebook and stashed earned money separately. After three months of freelancing, I saved the necessary amount, and after the blessings of my parents, I bought Pomeranian for my sister. Later, she repeatedly told that it was one of the happiest moments in her childhood. The first thing she did after coming to the school the next day, she said, If anybody bullies me, then I will tell it to my brother and let the dog loose. From that time, a ball of fur with nickname Cerberus lives with us. I learned a lot in freelancing. This includes animation, because once I realized that for that it is possible to earn a lot more than transcribing the text. In my life, I had to distribute flyers again several times, but it was totally a different story. Tell in the comments, have you tried yourself in freelancing? What is your story? Your experience may be priceless, and the best comments, of course, will get into the next episode.